Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to render in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. I have a Navisworks file opened up. In the Render tab of the ribbon, and uh, uh, there is a systems panel. And in here you have Autodesk rendering. <clears throat> if that icon is selected and functioning, you actually have the Autodesk rendering window open and it gives you all the materials that you have to work with. When you're rendering in Autodesk Navisworks Manage, it obviously is directly associated to the materials that you're working with. So there is a, another screencast video that I created on materials that you can watch to learn how to take any material that you have in your library or in your current Navisworks project and assign it to physical objects. <clears throat> Once you spend the time to build the and adjust the Navisworks model to have the correct materials, you can start to render. When we're rendering in uh, Navisworks Manage, it's actually not the rendering command like you typically see in Revit where you're rendering on the fly and within the context of the project on your physical machine. They give you render in cloud and they give you render gallery. If you say render in the cloud, you're actually rendering the data up on Autodesk's servers. If you click render gallery, <clears throat> it will take you to your A360 rendering uh, portal that gives you uh, all of access to all of your models that you've rendered. You have ray tracing, which you can change and adjust how it's going to use the ray trace engine for the particular rendering. Um, and you can say low, medium, high, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so let's do render in the cloud. I'm going to click that command. And what's going to happen is render in the cloud dialog box is going to open up. And it's going to ask you what particular view or views you want to render. So you can go in here and pick the one that you want. <clears throat> you can specify different types of output, by the way. You can do a still image rendering. You can do a panorama rendering. You have a stereo panorama rendering, which is new, and an illuminance. The rendering quality can be standard or final. The image size can be small all the way up to maximum. The exposure can be native or advanced. And the file format can be PNG, JPEG, or TIFF. <clears throat> you can pick all the different settings that you want. And what you'll notice is that it'll tell you how many cloud credits that you're going to use for that particular rendering and how many you have left. It'll also give you an approximate time for completion. And you can also tell it to email you to let you know, hey, the rendering is finished. Go ahead and get it. <clears throat> now, again, the higher the settings that you've um, selected here in each of the choices, the more credits you'll use up. So if I click Start Rendering, it automatically take that file, all the data of that file, and it will upload it to Autodesk servers. Once that information is up on Autodesk servers, it will start rendering. And it will let you know when it's finished via email, and also in the balloon pop-up in the upper right-hand corner of the information toolbar. <clears throat> and again, depending on how complex your model is, how many materials you have, whether you have shadows turned on, things like that, will dictate, uh, and the settings that you chose will dictate how long it takes to render. If I click Render Gallery, it will actually open up a window using your browser, and you can go into your renderings. It will ask you to sign in, so we're going to sign in. <clears throat> And once you've signed in, you'll have access to your particular gallery. <clears throat> now, this is the gallery tab. That tab basically gives you access to all of the renderings that everybody who's using any of the Autodesk products that are cloud rendering based, <clears throat> not necessarily Navisworks Manage, but also say Revit. Um, they push up their data and you can see their work, which is kind of cool. But if you click My Renderings, you'll get access to your particular renderings that you have done. Uh, and if you don't have any, 
um, then you know you basically have to start from scratch and the minute you have the first one done it'll show your data okay you can also directly from this website click new and it will walk you through the process of creating a new rendering online as well uh, as far as I understand this is fairly new and so I'm, I'm guessing they're having a little bit of hiccups with the programming on the back end because it's not really doing what I want it to do <clears throat> in any event um, that's how you go through the process of creating a rendering in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to hear and see you guys again in the next recording.